If you own a 3D printer, here's some manufacturing wisdom you might not have. What you do not want to do is use a 3D scanner to scan your parts and print them. Never, ever, ever do that. What you're going to do is you're going to measure the part, you're going to use parametric CAD to mock up the part, model it, and then you print or you CNC machine it or whatever you're going to do. You do not go scan directly to 3D output. It just doesn't work in practice. Plus, you want that parametric model so that you can Kentucky windage the dimensions down so that the thing fits. Let's look at an example. Let's just say that you have a pin, and this pin has to fit into a little hole that's in something, right? This thing has volume to it. If I need this part here and I just scan it with my little 3D printing scanner thing, this is going to enter CAD as like a point cloud of stuff that kind of makes up the shape. So it'll, it'll basically look like a pin, roughly. But there's no parametric modeling or mathematics or equations that actually say this is a pin with these parameters. For example, there's nothing that says this is a pin of diameter, you know, 0 0.1250 inches. There's nothing that says that, or like length one inch. You don't get that from a point cloud from a 3D scanner. So do not 3D scan this and try to just have it manufactured. You must. 3D model this using parametric CAD. Just put your big boy pants on and go ahead and draw a circle and extrude this into the pin and you're done. It takes like two minutes. And you might say, well, Jason, point cloud gives me my part. I can see it. I can rotate it in 3D. Why can't I just send this to the manufacturer? Well, the reason is the manufacturer has to work off of a 2D drawing. So just like this, they have to work off of a print. And this is your contract. This is basically when you transact dollars, they're going to measure the part, the finished part against the drawing. And that ensures that the thing that they made is correct. And then what you can do is go back and put your pin in your part and see if it fits. If it doesn't fit, then you're gonna update your model, update your drawing, send it back to the manufacturer, say, hey, this thing was too tight. We need you to take off um, one and a half thousandths from it. They'll go ahead and do that. They'll update the parts. They'll, you'll rev all your documentation. And then you'll have a new part that actually fits and yes, there is one painful re revision in there, but if you're going to not have 2D drawings and not have parametric CAD, then you're basically just completely guessing every time and you don't know what you're gonna get back. So for a manufacturing system to work correctly, you have to have parametric CAD. And, and nowadays, at least, you still need a two-dimensional drawing as part of that tool chain. That's why you have to learn CAD to do this thing end to end. The only exception in everything I just said is if you are scanning a toy or something that looks cool or like the body of a model car or something like that and the dimensions don't really matter go ahead scan it if there's some free form surface scan it and then add parametrics where the mounting screws are whatever matters all right thanks so much for watching adios